Hello and welcome in this new guide brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Today we'll discover together how to take advantage of the essential graphics feature in Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 and how to install, organize and customize the pre-made motion graphics templates in Premiere Pro. Also, we'll be reviewing the Ultimate Titles Pack by DigitalProducts669.com and how to use the pre-made animated titles in the pack to work faster and add stylish, amazing and high-quality customizable animated titles in your Premiere Pro projects. So let's take a look on some of the examples I've made using the Ultimate Titles Pack in Premiere Pro. First of all, the Essential Graphics feature is only available in newer versions of Adobe Premiere Pro. So to be able to use motion graphics templates, make sure you have at least the Premiere Pro 2019 version installed on your computer. To start, first, let's import a video file inside our Premiere Pro project. Then, let's right-click the imported video and select New Sequence from Clip. From the top, click the Graphics tab. This will show up the Essential Graphics panel on the right side of the workspace. By default, Premiere Pro 2019 comes with a set of motion graphics templates. So let's see how to install and add our amazing Ultimate Titles back in Premiere Pro. After buying the Ultimate Titles back, you'll receive over 200 animated titles in 9 different categories. To easily add the templates in Premiere Pro, click this little icon here next to Essential Graphics and select Manage Additional Folders. Click the Add button, then navigate to the Ultimate Titles Pack folder and select the first category folder then click OK. Now, while local is checked, we can click the drop-down menu to select the category folder we've just added. Another way to install the entire Ultimate Titles Pack in Premiere Pro is by selecting all the folders categories, then right-click to copy the folders, then go to Start menu, then in the search bar, type in C, colon, forward slash users, then hit enter to open up the users folder. Double click your user folder name, then find the app data folder. By default, the app data folder is hiding. So tap Alt key on the keyboard, then from tools menu, select folders options. The Folders Options window, switch to the View tab, then make sure Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives is checked, then click OK to apply the changes. Now double-click the App Data folder and go to Rooming, Adobe, then Common. Inside the Common folder, you'll find the default Motion Graphics Templates folder. So right-click inside the folder and choose Paste to paste the Ultimate Titles Pack folders. 
once you've done this, you can immediately go back to Premiere Pro and you will find out that all the templates have been added to the list of essential graphics. Also, we can organize the different titles categories by going to the Manage Additional Folders window. Then click on Add and navigate to the default Motion Graphics Templates folder. Then, for example, select the first Titles Category folder. Then click OK. Now, while Local is selected, you can select and reach to each category folder separately. So, this is how to organize your Motion Graphics Templates, each in a separate folder. Now, for example, let's go to the Wedding Category folder and pick one of the amazing Ultimate Titles Pack Wedding Templates. For example, let's drag this template to the timeline. For your knowledge, all the templates in the Ultimate Titles Pack comes in Ultra HD 4K resolution. So to adapt the template resolution to the resolution of our wedding footage, which is a full HD video, simply right-click the template sequence, then choose Set to Frame Size. While the template sequence is selected, you can go to the Edit tab to fully customize the template. To remove the background behind the title, you can check Remove Background. Also, you can decrease the entire duration of the animated title using the Duration Controller. Now we can go to Color Controls to fully change and customize the colors of the entire template. Also, we can increase or decrease the scale of the title using the Title Scale Controller. From Text Holder, you can type in the text you want, change in the font style and the size of each word in the title the way you want it to be. Also, while the sequence of the template selected, from the Effects Controls panel on the left, you can adjust the scale and the position of the entire template. Also, you can import and customize more the Ultimate Titles Back templates in Adobe After Effects. So, to import the Ultimate Titles Back in After Effects, First, make sure you have at least the Adobe After Effects 2019 version. Then go to File menu and choose Open Project. Select one of the Ultimate Titles Pack Mogret files, then click Open. In the window that follows, After Effects will ask you to choose a folder to extract the template project files. So, select a folder to extract the template project files, then click on Extract. If you got a missing fonts warning message, simply click on OK to skip. Now, let's go ahead and import our full HD wedding footage in After Effects. And then let's drag the footage and drop it on that icon here to create a new composition from the video. Now we can easily drag the main template composition and drop it on top of our footage. To 
fit the template to the resolution of our composition, right-click the template composition and go to Transform, then select Fit to Comp. Now go to Windows menu and select Essential Graphics to show up the Essential Graphics panel in the workspace. In After Effects, we have the same template controls as in Premiere Pro, so we can fully customize the template the same way we did in Premiere Pro. But here in After Effects, we have the ability to customize everything in the template in a more advanced way. So, for example, let's say we want to reduce the opacity of the shape of this heart icon. Simply, we can do this by double-clicking the main template composition and navigate inside the sub-compositions until we find the element we are looking for. And then simply click the shape of the heart to select it. Then tap T on the keyboard to reduce the opacity of the shape. Finally, we can click the Export Motion Graphics Template button to export our customized template and use it again in Premiere Pro. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and review. Please don't forget to check the link in the description to get this fantastic Ultimate Titles Pack for your Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.